Alright, so today we're taking a look at our first um, piece of armor, our first entire suit of armor, which we've taken from concept art. From, uh, like I say, concept art. There's a few of the early illustrations. Uh, to uh, 3D model through several phases of 3D model. And here we have some early early iterations of the of the suit of armor. So this early version uh, was kind of not quite to proportion. This kind of got a superhero like proportion to it, whereas this one is a uh, kind of a it looks a little bit loose fitted. So we we altered that a bit. We um, we got the metal color working a little bit better, but again, still the proportions weren't quite right here. Here's a little bit of the uh, modeling process in, uh, sp in uh, time lapse, 15 times uh, speed. Some uh, earlier earlier iterations of the geometry for the armor, and then uh, here's some of the rigging. Again, time lapse view for a little bit later version of the armor. Then we've got some uh, earlier earlier version texturing going on here. Let's see, I'll skip ahead a bit. I like the metal color. Metal color. I think the metal color looks pretty, pretty cool. Kind of that dark gothic looking plate. The inspiration for this is actually, uh, I think it was the, an 80s movie or a very early 90s movie, but I think it was late 80s. Uh, titled Excalibur and then Excalibur. They had some pretty cool uh, armor designs and so some of the inspiration for basically the, the kind of metal and armor style came from, uh, from Excalibur. Good movie by the way. If you haven't seen it I highly recommend it. One of the uh, one of the cool, uh, probably probably the best actually telling of uh, King Arthur. King Arthur tale. And yeah anyway so we uh, had uh, few uh, iterations of the armor and uh, let's see iterations iterations and then finally we got it tweaked to a point where it was basically right on point to the to the illustration so on the right we've got the illustration and uh, on the left we have the actual 3d model um, looking, looking textured, looking, uh, looking nicely lit. So now we've got the um, the piece of armor actually imported into the game, uh, and it is, and it is looking pretty cool. Uh, it, like I say, it's a bit. Whoop! Oh, hang on a sec. Yeah, some uh, YouTube video sort of auto playing there. But yep, yeah, we got the uh, armor in the game. It's uh, a little bit glitchy at the moment, but it's looking pretty cool. I'll just hop in here. And uh, the, the lighting isn't isn't quite right yet. And as you can see, the uh, the fitting of the armor doesn't quite quite flow or fall correctly yet. But basically, we've got the armor in the game. And uh, yeah, from, from concept art and illustration to uh, 3D model to actually getting it rigged up and put into the game. And uh, yeah, I'd say it's, it's looking pretty pretty cool. I need some. It needs some work. There's a few few problems. With the uh, well, for example, when you start running, the arms uh, kind of seem to detach, dis uh, kind of disconnect right now from from the model. So that's going to need to be fixed. And there's a there's a few issues. Uh, our lighting reflection and stuff like that doesn't seem to be quite right yet either. But uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, got. Uh, our very first custom piece of armor in the game so I think that's pretty cool Let's see here's a here's a little bit of the rigging process which is basically just uh, attaching the armor to the different segments sections of the 3d model of the character model model rather underneath in such a way that it uh, fits and and sits correctly and then of course when it animates it has to uh, it has to all kind of move correctly as well so this is a rough draft version 
obviously it's you know, a little bit clunky, but yeah, pretty cool. There's actually we go so far as to rigging up the rigging up the figure fingers. So quite a quite a bit of fine detail goes into the uh, creation of equipment in uh, in a piece of yeah, or sorry the uh, creation of a piece of armor and equipment in, inside a game. Uh, we're hoping that once we kind of get some initial uh, settings figured out and connected that we'll be able to create these pieces a little bit faster but uh, for now for now that's it all right hope you guys like this video if you want to see more like this please subscribe and like we're hoping to grow this channel up and, uh, and uh, gain a, get an audience of anybody who's kind of interested in the indie game development of a uh, startup game development company and if that's you uh, uh, we hope to see your subscription and uh, yeah we'll have more like this pretty frequently because we got a lot going on and there's going to be a lot of updates so all right